hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel this is the place where you can learn Microsoft Intune in detail if you're working as a as a as a, as a Intune admin or or uh, as a consultant for any organizations or as a freelancer you learn uh, Microsoft Intune in details you can also learn or read the articles from Microsoft but yeah this is the a uh, place uh, where actually you will get to know about everything about Microsoft Intune. So this is Microsoft Intune portal as you already familiar. Today I am going to show you the first few important things. So as you can see here this is if I go to the tenant administration uh, you can see the service release is 2402. I am going to tell you something new which is actually it's upcoming or it's a feature in development which will be upcoming in 2404 uh, in April 2024 hopefully in the service release I'm just expecting it so what you have to do you have to do a, uh, uh, some changes if you are using BYD I, uh, iOS BYD devices enrollment or if you are managing personally iOS devices you have to you have to plan your changes for enrollment for iOS BYD devices but it will be in I think hopefully in April and with the service release 2404 okay that's why I'm showing uh, in the first of the video so let's talk about uh, let's uh, since we are talking about iOS enrollment so let's go to the devices sections here click on iOS and click on iOS here so you see you have to click on enrollment type right you want to learn more something here you just always click I already uh, you uh, most of them already know right uh, <coughs> so here what's what type of profiles you want to create for to manage your uh, devices because this enrollment type you see create and manage enrollment type for iOS users that have the personal or corporate devices then this profile deploy devices and enrollment type options to users setting up their devices in the company portal so what Microsoft is coming with there is a change today as of now today when creating a, this enrollment profile uh, device enrollment with company portal is shown as the default method I will show you like I'm I'm just giving name sample enrollment BYD enrollment profile okay you can give any name whatever you want click next you see the default is coming device enrollment with the company portal so as of now right as of now as of today when cre this while creating you see the default is device enrollment with the company portal is shown as the default matter so you see by default it's coming but in service release 2404 service release the default method will change to web based enrollment so if I click on it will get changed from here to web based device enrollment okay during this profile creations so if it's a new tenant then or if no enrollment profile is there then user will enroll using default web based device enrollment so what is web based enrollment so for web based enrollment you need to deploy the single sign and extensions policy to enable just in time registration GIT which is called and I will tell you how to set up the GIT registration so with this change how does impact how this affect you or your users or devices if you are using the device enrollment with the company portal so this is an update to the user interface when creating uh, iOS enrollment profile to display web based device enrollment is a default right existing profiles are not impacted for new tenants if no enrollment profile is created the user will enroll using web base so how you can prepare for this so you have to do the upgrade update your documentations or end user guide if needed 
if you currently using device enrollment with the company portal this method for your BYD we recommend or Microsoft recommend moving to your web based enrollment and deploy the SSO extension policy to enable the GIT just in time registration for your Apple iOS devices right so this is a very important information uh, you have to think about this and how you can uh, enable this just in time and web base uh, so let's select web base enrollment here click and you can apply to all users or all devices whatever you say I'm just creating simple BYD web base enrollment you can modify it here simple BYD web base enrollment profile okay so you have to create this profile and assign to your to your users now how you can set up this web base so first you have to create an enrollment profile this is the first one and then set up the GIT registration and then enroll your devices right so how you can set up the just-in-time registrations so you have to go to the devices again click here configurations profile and create new policies here you select the templates under the device features create I will give JIT or just you can give Apple iOS JIT SSO policy okay here under this uh, <coughs> single sign on here you have to select the <coughs> Uh, here you have to select this uh, uh, in tune device ID I think so right SSO apps SSO app no no not single sign on okay here sorry yeah so single sign on app extensions here you have to select the Microsoft intra ID and as soon as you select the Microsoft Intra ID, you want to enable the shared devices board. No, uh, you have to put the bundle ID, com dot something like whatever. How you can find the bundle ID? I already made a video. You can put com dot apple dot com or whatever or WhatsApp. You, you can give any name or Zoom, so you can find the bundle ID and the key. The important thing is key so here in the key you have to put the device registration without space device registration the key would be you will find this information on Microsoft site and you have to be device this is case sensitive so make sure device registration and then recommend another is browser SSO integration e -N -T -E -R, inter interaction e -N -A, enable and the, this will be integer and it will be one okay so what we are doing we are just uh, adding the key fair value uh, and will not add the authenticator applications the app bundle ID will only use over for the uh, known Microsoft applications if it's a if it's a Microsoft application we don't need to add uh, the app bundle ID okay so the bundle ID is like for example if you want you can find it uh, the bundle ID for all these Apple applications like if you want to add uh, something like camera right like Apple com dot Apple dot camera right you want to enable single sign on for com dot Apple dot app 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 store okay 
or if you want to enable something for FaceTime so you can put com dot <coughs> com dot apple dot FaceTime okay camera I don't need so I think Apple store and FaceTime would be okay okay like you want to add for Safari right uh, let me find that for Safari so I want to enable single sign on for Safari com dot Apple Apple dot mobile S A Safari so this one FaceTime I don't need so app, app store and mobile Safari here this one you need to add here and then and then click next if you want to assign to all the devices or all users you can do that click next create so this is the profile just in time profile for single sign on and this just in time registration will help the Microsoft into to enable device users to initiate and complete the enrollment from work and school app and uh, for this Intune company portal isn't required when using GIT registration and this will GIT registration will utilize Apple single sign on extensions to complete the intra ID registration for compliance check so this this extensions which we have created this policy will reduce the authentication prompt during the device user sessions and stabilize the single sign on across the whole devices so this is the benefit so we have enable we have created this enrollment type which is web based and then we have created uh, just in time single sign on profile and now you can instruct the users instruct the users to uh, do the enrollment so to do to the enrollment you have to go to the browsers and type https colon double slash portal dot manage manage dot com manage dot microsoft dot com slash enrollment and Wave enrollment iOS. You can send an email to iOS to to these users, and <coughs> you can users can log in with this uh, with this URL, and you see how you can set up your. You have to download this profile, and you can get get started, right? So 